What's going on, guys? How you doing? Gypsy Danger 7 is back with the first video of the day, so let's get right into it. And I want to talk about this meeting between President Trump and Nancy Pelosi. Let's get right into it. Boy, what a firestorm that was. What a show that was. Because Nancy Pelosi got so upset with President Trump, she walked out of that uh, White House office and bitching and screaming that she wishes President Trump was more a politician. And President Trump turned around, called her a third-rate politician, and who needs serious help? <laughs> Ah, you know, thank God that President Trump isn't a career politician like Nancy Pelosi. So let's 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 do the tail of the tape here, shall we? On one side, we got House Speaker Pelosi. She's been in office in Congress since 1987. That's 32 years ago. I was 14 years old at that time. OK, and that's during the Reagan era. So basically, she was in Congress under Bush, well, under Reagan, under Bush, the first you know, father, then Clinton, then Bush, the son, and Obama, and now all the way to President Trump. Okay, where are these term limits? Okay, each president that I mentioned had a term limit. Okay, yeah, Bush, the father, lost his reelection campaign. Okay, fine. But we had two terms of Clinton, two terms of Bush, two terms of Obama, and God willing, we have two terms of President Trump. But the point is, when Pelosi took office, when she entered Congress, she was on the second term of President Reagan at the time. But yet Pelosi's a career politician. Okay. Where are the term limits? Okay, when Pelosi entered office, okay, she was not wealthy by any means necessary, but now she's a multimillionaire. When President Trump entered politics, okay. And everything else like that. And let's keep it real. He's only been a politician and a president for the, what, past three and a half years? Pol politically, because of his um, campaigning, he was, you know, that makes it four years. But the point I'm trying to get at, he he's not a career politician, but yet P Pelosi is a multimillionaire being a career politician. Before President Trump entered politics, he was a billionaire, successful billionaire businessman. All right? He's losing money when he entered politics. What's that old saying again? You can't get rich in politics unless you are a crook. Okay? Bottom line. And Pelosi's made millions over the years, 32 years. And what has, what has she done for constituents? Well, let's look at the sanctuary city that's called San Francisco. Well, San Francisco is a crap hole. They literally have an app. I mentioned this many times. There's literally the crap app. For the citizens of, of San Francisco, okay, there, it's drug infested. There's needles all over the floor, okay. If you're a subscriber to Jericho Green, you know what I'm talking about because Jericho Green lives in San Francisco or he goes through San Francisco. But the point of the matter remains, he talks about San Francisco a lot. And he talks about the filth and the grime and the crap that goes on over there. So if you have not subscribed to Jericho Green, I suggest you do. Moving right along. San Francisco is a sanctuary city. So in other words, she's screwing her own American constituents in favor of illegal immigrants. And they ban plastic straws, but yet they let illegal immigrants vote, which is the very definition of foreign interference. So what has, what has Nancy Pelosi done for America, for the American taxpayer? Well, nothing. She flushed her toilet. She flushed the district, her district, down the toilet. She has screwed over the American taxpayer in favor of the illegal immigrants. And she wants to sit there and wish that President Trump was more of a politician. Well, thank God that President Trump is not a politician. Okay, thank God that he, President Trump is what most of us Americans wanted. We wanted a we wanted a president who wasn't a career politician. I mean, how many times have we clamored for somebody to be in Congress, to be in the Senate that are not career politicians? I mean, by the the reality of it all is, yeah, both sides are playing us out. The only person actually taking care of us, the only person actually looking for us, looking out for us, realistically, is the man in the Oval Office, the man in the White House. That's right, President Trump. He's actually representing the American people. Why do you think these warmongering neocons, rhinos, can't stand him? And of course, we already know, leftist lunatics, leftist Democrats always 
hitting him with impeachment after impeachment after impeachment after impeachment. First Russia collusion, and now they want to give us Ukrainian mania for everything that they're doing. Explain that. And you know what this, you know what this does too? It harkens back to when Iran shot down that drone. Remember how it was? Remember when Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer went into the White House uh, office, you know, in the Oval Office, and they walked out of there whoop, whoop, thinking that they got President Trump to start a war over a drone, and President Trump launched those planes and at the last minute turned around and said, psych, got you. <laughs> he played those suckers out like a fiddle. And you remember what happened after that. You remember when they all, you know, CNN and all those warmongering liberals were like, I can't believe he did that. I do. I believe he did that. And I'm glad he did that. He played you out like a sucker. Okay, he got you. Made you believe that you honestly believe that President Trump was going to start a war over a stupid drone? Give me a break already. <laughs> and, and here's part two. Today, yes, a couple of days ago, when Nancy Pelosi walked out of that office, was part two because she was not going to get her way. You know what? Here's the deal, and let's keep it real. If President Trump was a career politician, you best believe we'd be in a freaking war. And speaking of neocon warmongers, I made a video about that, about what's going on with Syria, Turkey, and the Kurds, and how these neocon warmongers are like, oh my God, we got to take care of the Kurds. They're our allies. Well, guess what? President Trump did take care of the Kurds because guess what he did? He had Turkey and Syria come up to a peace agreement now. Yes, President Trump wheeling and dealing, the art of the deal. And he got the Kurds and the Syria, the Kurds, Syria, and Turkey to come to a ceasefire without firing a bullet from American guns. How does that work? Because President Trump knows what he's doing. Because why? He's not a career politician. That's why. And that's what we, the American people, needed. That's what we, the American people, wanted. And that's why we, the American people, voted for President Trump. And that's why I, for one, will be one of those American people in 2020 voting for President Trump's re-election campaign. You best believe that. So, yes, thank God that President Trump is not a career politician, unlike Nancy Pelosi. Anyway, that's the video. If you liked it, please please rate, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. And, um, you know, the links, the ways to support this channel will be in the links in the description below. Greatly appreciate it all. And um, I will see you later with the next video. But until then, God bless you all. Jesus loves you all. Holy Ghost guides you all. Later.